Hey, what's up, folks? Today I'm going to show you a very simple video. I'm going to do it bullet points so it's easy to follow and you can easily jump from section to section. So, what I'm going to run through is obviously how to get what you're seeing on my screen here is a Minecraft server. So, for example, on the left here, this is the actual server running, all the files to it that's running away in the background. If you close that, it closes the server. Then, as you can see here, basically I'm in a Minecraft world, which is one of my old servers. Uh, don't really use this one anymore now. So, yeah, I'm going to jump right into it and keep watching the video and see how things turn out. Right, now we're on to making the server. So, first thing you want to do is actually go to your internet browser. Now, what we're going to use for actually creating the server, instead of Minecraft's own server program, we're going to use something called Bucket. Now, if you go into Google and type in B-U-K-K-I-T, then uh, it will be actually the very first thing that will come up on uh, Google. Straight in here, you'll either notice that they can sometimes post them on the actual blog post um, sometimes I have recommended builds up in the corner here so just check up on up to date with them and get the latest version or you can go up the top this is get craft bucket once you have that let's say for instance click on this it'll say download uh, craft bucket 0 0.01 snapshot dot jar it gives you a load of rubbish on the end of it that's what you want to download okay so for example I've got one here pre-downloaded so it says craft bucket dot 0 0.01 snap dot snap dot jar now what you want to do is uh, remove all this stuff off the end so it looks like this so it just says craft bucket dot jar it just makes it a lot easier a um, lot easier way of finding it in one way or another the next thing you want to do down in the description there will be a Dropbox link now I have uh, put a few files together which kinda makes it easy and gives you an option so download that and what it will do is it will give you uh, a file a zip file called server server start files dot zip open that up you'll get a folder server start files and open that up you'll have another four folder options so it depends on your amount of ram so you either have server start one gigabyte two gigs three gigs or four gigs so for example if uh, I'm running a uh, four gigabyte iMac computer, I will give the server roughly two gigabytes. I don't want to give it a full four gig, just in case if uh, <coughs> if it may cause problems with other things in the background, because you need to give your operating system something to use still. So in this case, I'm going to use two gigs. So I open this folder up. <coughs> I'll be sorry about my throat. It will have two items here. So one says readme, one says start dot command two gigabyte ram dot text. Okay. First thing you want to do is open up the readme. It will open up text edit, and it says basically you have to copy this code into terminal. Now you've got to make sure it's exactly right because there is a space after the X on this, and you want to make sure you get that involved. So I'll go command C. Let's copy that. <coughs> Sorry, my throat here. Now you want to have your terminal open as well. Now when you open your terminal, paste that code into there. You want to go back to the folder that would have downloaded. Now you want to change this ever so slightly. So just click it once, wait a second, click again. Now you want to delete the dot text and you want to delete the two gigabyte RAM and hit enter. Tell it to use dot command. There we go. So now it's it's actually a file that's ready to be um authorized by your computer so have that folder grab it and drop it into terminal you'll see here that it explains the root directory of it and then just hit enter and then that's it done now either you can then move this file to say a separate folder you could have a folder named minecraft put that in there and have it ready to set up the server or in this case i'm just going to do it all within here just to make it easy now this is where you need your craft bucket dot jar okay so grab your craft bucket jar wherever you're going to put your start dot command don't click craft bucket because it will um, open up the server ports and it basically it causes a lot of problems uh, at the end of the video I will show you um, a way to close it if something like that does happen if you do accidentally click it but in this case double click start dot command so what it'll do is it opens up the files so it's saying uh, it's just loading like all the chunks here spawning the world it goes through the percent so just let it do that 
and what you may notice in the background as well instead of just having the three items it's added a lot more items in there this is for things like your plugins your ops your band players your world files anything like that server properties it's all within there okay so that's actually the server up and running now so that's ready to go Okay, so now we've got your server up and running. What we need to do now is actually make it so it can send out the information to the world so people can join. There's two ways of doing it. Now, if you are running a Mac, there's one bit of software that does make it quite easy. You have to toggle around with things. It's called Port Map. Uh, very simple bit of software. Actually, this is the window here. Uh, at the moment, it does say I have an inc incompatible router, which from one of my last videos, a lot of people were saying that, but there is a way of resolving around it. I did make a separate video, and I asked people to watch it. Right, first thing is, once you have port map, which you download it from the website, just go into Google, type in port map, you'll see this, you can't really miss it if anything. You'll then be downloaded with this bit of software. So, what you have to then do is, once you start it up, you turn the router on, you t press the add button just leave the presets as they are add the local port which in this case for minecraft is 25565 and uh, desired port 22565 select both of those put the description as minecraft or whatever you want it to and then just go add mapping so there we go adds a new item straight away now it's showing a red light because the fact is I've got an incompatible router there is problem solving at the end of this video so please watch it and it may help out there the other way that you can do it is through your router. Your router has a lot of settings that you can play around with and a lot of people don't realize it. You do have to be what well, you do have to have permissions to the router if you want to say uh, so you can actually change things. For instance, I'm running a Belkin router here. Now, in my options, I get the fact that I can actually have a virtual servers. So it's just under my firewall settings it says virtual servers. I can then add in here I want to enable the port, name it Minecraft. I put the inbound port as 25564 dash 25567 so it's between the port that I need so TCP and UDP and don't worry about the private address just put it as 4 or whatever you want it to and then the private port 25565 dash 25567 then you want to apply the changes it will restart your router obviously this is for a Belkin one Netgears do have the same option um, actually a lot of companies have the same option you just have to access your router for example if I want to go into my Belkin router I go to a website 192.168.2.1 that's a universal address for Belkin routers I can then go in and access it I know for instance Sky routers it's normally uh, sky router and then a password or something like that look in your manuals it'll tell you again there may be a uh, problem solving at the end of this video once that's done it's a piece of cake if you are running uh, an Apple airport Apple actually provide their own bit of software to do port forwarding you have to go within your settings and there should be another option within your uh, network page that you can play around with things in there So now your server should be fully working as long as all the steps have gone correctly. So I'm going to now demonstrate it. For instance, my server was saved in here. So I'll just put that to one side. And um, what well, do I go multiplayer? Now, as you can see, my server should say that none of them will be connecting because none of them are actually online at the moment. Okay, so we want to go to start your server, go start.command. Just double click that again your terminal will open now you will have to keep this window open if you do close it uh, it will keep on running in the background but you won't be able to edit things say if you want to put in certain terminal commands or if you try and stop the server you have to do it a completely different way so keep that running the main thing now now that's running you can easily go refresh now as long as your port mapping is set up correctly you can connect to it in different ways for instance you can use the port map to try and get onto your server or as long as your router has been set up correctly you can then easily go into edit the server name it whatever you want if it's from your computer and you're hosting it you can easily go colon 25565 and go done and it works no problem you can connect with no problems at all the other option is you can uh, copy the IP from port map 
or go to things like websites where they will tell you your IP and then you can type them in there and then they'll work so I'm just going to jump in here now if I look at the server it's pretty much saying new Macs because basically it's the first time I've spawned into it and it's saying here that I'm spawned into the world so that's the server actually up and running now and ready to go if you wish to close the server it's very simple now this will cut off all internet access all you have to do is just pretty much type in stop into the server hit enter it'll save the chunks and it's stopping the server it's pretty much complete so you can now then close your terminal and uh, there will be no internet access to the server okay problem solving so this is where I'm going to try and help you out as much as I possibly can one of the questions I used to get quite a lot was they had um, when they tried to log into someone's server or they had other people trying to log in it used to say outdated server that basically means that either your Minecraft client is at the newest stage but the Minecraft server software isn't at that stage yet, it's a step lower. So the only way people can actually join in is either if they've got the same software as what the server is actually running. So you, that's why you'll be getting a message saying outdated server. A lot of people have set up their server and they get in their terminal window saying they have a JavaScript error or um, a driver denied access to the system basically what's happened there is something's gone wrong further down the line the software is fine the JavaScript is fine but either something's just gone wrong so the best bit of advice is basically scrap everything and start again another question here my friends can't join my server this could be a two-way situation first thing is your port mapping might not be set up correctly that is not actually sending out the signal for other people to join in um, the best way to overcome that is again try and check through your port mapping software and see if everything's set up correctly make sure to send out the software and see how that turns out um, another option could be things like your firewall on your router or on your computer could be actually stopping them joining into it things like antiviruses could be doing that you could be uh, well actually it could be their firewall in fact that's actually stopping them leaving their network to join other networks so try getting them to turn off their firewall or you turn off yours vice versa on that side of things normally you'll notice if something's going to work on minecraft for connecting when someone tries to join the server if they get a message saying connecting server it normally fails it's not going to work it normally works when it starts to say logging in then you know it's actually working straight away okay let's just say if you've accidentally opened craftbucket.jar or if you didn't close the server correctly and you can't get it to reopen this is how you close it or kill it if you want to say um, to to actually get it open again afterwards so I've just double clicked on craftbucket.jar so it's actually bind to the port now normally you'll notice if I go and start dot command now what it'll do is in the messages here it will say star 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 failed to bind port that basically means the server is running but it's running wrongly so what you have to do to kill it is on your Mac go to your utilities folder or search for activity monitor now when you open activity monitor you want to look for Java so for instance Java is here it actually uses a lot of CPU so you can't really miss it and what you want to do is just quit the process and normally there's two of them so there is another one there I'll just quit that one as well and right that's that quit so now if I just close that old window and go through start.command again and there we go now it's working so if you click on the wrong thing or close the server cr uh, wrongly that's how you kill Java to restart it one of the most common questions that I got was port map said people's routers were incompatible there's two ways to solve this either you can physically go up to your router 
restart it there should be a restart button on the back or unplug it and when you plug it back in while it's actually running up just keep pressing refresh and it might suddenly appear that you'll get an IP it does work it actually works for pretty much every router and the other way you can do it is if you have access to your router settings then there should be an option to restart your router so I'm going to demonstrate here I can go restart my router okay I'm going to restart and then while it's doing that I'm going to keep refreshing this for example it is actually working right now you do sometimes get this message where it uh, says just no external address but actually that button's gone green so it is working you just have to go to a third party website to find your IP address